hey guys so uh, I was unable to upload a video yesterday because not much work happened yesterday so what we were able to do is we were able to um, apply epoxy primer on top of all these parts and after applying epoxy primer you need to give at least four to six hours for it to dry so that's what we gave and now it is pretty dry so what we need to do now next is there are some spots let's say if you can see there is this spot where you have little bit of more epoxy primer so what we have to do is we have to sand these kind of spots and make it level with the rest of the things so the standing is pretty straightforward you have to use a 600 grit paper uh, wet and sand all these imperfections out once it is sanded then uh, it is ready for paint so that's what we are going to do now we are going to sand everything and we are going to make it ready for paint there are some small spots like if you see here there is a small dent here so these kind of spots will be now pretty visible because we have applied primer and because of the visibility we will be able to attack those so what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply some spot putty here uh, and then we are going to sand it to the level and then we are going to paint it okay so without much delay let me go ahead and start wet sanding it and along with wet sanding we are going to fill these kind of small small holes wherever they appear okay so let's do it So everything has been sanded, washed and then it's presently drying. As you can see there is very less amount of moisture in it but still it has to dry out properly for us to paint it. So now we'll let it dry for like 20-30 minutes and then we will go ahead and start painting it.
Okay, so that's the plan.
so everything that was supposed to be painted is painted it looks good uh, I have painted the forks as well but there is a small reaction which has happened around here and that is primarily because of the thinner that I used in this paint and it's okay because this is actually the side that goes towards the wheel so it is nothing scary but check out this this has been absolutely stunning so I have applied some extra clear so that if there is a need we'll cut and polish it but most likely that won't be required so I am anyways happy with the paint it has taken a lot of time but has come out really nice now the next item that we need to do is we need to get the engine or something but it cannot happen today especially because the paint is not gonna dry today so I'm going to start assembling it maybe in a day or two because till that time I'll let it dry otherwise there is a very good chance that this beautiful paint job will get ruined so it has been a fun experience but it was not that easy like what I have done in the past but nevertheless a very fun experience so I am pretty happy how it came out and we'll see you in the next video bye